are certain beasts that doesn't live in snow Nor mountain lands or jungle bells are in the sea, you know He wanders thriving grasslands and travels rolling plains And is known by the tarin as the Great Kodo He's got a massive horn and a sturdy rugged back Can bear a tar and awesome baggage piled up in his stack There is no other creature that can bear the tar and wave But they'd give other beasts a heart attack No raptor man or scaly horse or riding wolf will do For they are only yet equipped for cooking in a stew The Kodo may be hungry and destroy your pumpkin farm But the clumsy hungry Kodo has a certain kind of charm he hails from a birthplace, the great Mogoland And if you were truly honest, you would surely understand That there ain't no creature in the land For see, quite as dear to me as the great Kodo The Kodo is descended from the mighty Stegodon But except for in the deep crater, the Stegodon are gone He migrated through Tanaris and north with thousand pins And now he prances happily on tar and old lawn he bore up the tarn for a thousand years or more Was used for leather for our tents in spite of sons of war We owe the mighty Kodo for sustaining our whole race He's the most honored herbivore in all Mogor No ugly ram or silly horse or riding cat will do For they are only adequate for grinding into glue The Kodo may be hungry and destroy your pumpkin farm But the clumsy hungry Kodo has a certain kind of charm He hails from a birthplace the great and if you were truly honest, you would surely understand that there ain't no creature in the land or sea quite as dear to me as the great Kodo. Some may see the Kodo as an ugly, scary beast, probably the humans from the land far to the east. I can surely tell you that the Kodo is quite tame, but if you touch his horn, you'll wind up quite deceased. Pass a piece of bird, and we use in time of war, when they would wander through our lands and do things we abhor. The legendary great Kodo shall serve us once again, and shall be our closest friend forevermore. No silly mecko bird for gnomes will ever do, for they always squawk and squeak and spit on oily goo. The Kodo may be hungry and destroy your pumpkin farm, but the clumsy hungry Kodo has a certain kind of charm. He hails from my birthplace, the great Mogoland, and if you were truly honest, you would surely understand that there ain't no creature in the land, for see quite as dear to me as the great Kodo.